Good morning everyone. Today we are here on an island called Paros and we came here a few days ago from Milos, a beautiful island called Milos and I think the ferry took what like two hours maybe? Yeah around two hours. It's pretty quick. Yeah the problem was to get here because there was like a storm so we had to wait two days like uh, every morning we would go to the port and at like 6 30 a.m. Yeah, try to get the ferry but the captain would say that uh, it was impossible to sail yeah. and then we, we had to wait two days two extra days in Milos to come here but yeah we're finally in Paros yeah so keep that in mind if you come into the Greek islands if the weather is bad you might uh, lose a few days because uh, yeah some of the boats won't leave our boat was kind of small I think if there was a bigger ferry on the day it might have left but because we were on a small boat it wouldn't leave and this is like the main port town of Paros called Parikia so this is where we arrived the other day you can actually see there's a big ferry over there we haven't been on that kind of ferry yet and I think today's gonna be the same as usual right visit some nice little towns beaches yeah just explore Paros so we might even walk around here first we weren't planning on checking out Parikia but since we're here we might as well So we're just walking to what we think is the old part now. We saw on Google Maps that it's supposed to be a ruins of a castle or something. Cool alleyways as usual. Yeah, so that's the nice thing about these places. Each island that we go to, they're similar, but they all have their own little style. The old parts. This part here looks more like a, a local area, I guess. Doesn't seem to be hotels, more uh, houses. It is a lot hotter right now. When we first arrived in Greece, I think it was only around uh, 20 degrees Celsius. And today's around 28 degrees. So that's just in about two weeks. Quite a big difference. This might look even nicer than the ones that we've seen on the other islands. Yeah, in Milo, yeah. Yeah, maybe even more than Santorini. I like the, the floor designs on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Mykonos also has a floor like this. We'll see later on. So this is the ruin that we were looking for. There isn't much there, but it says that it is a Frankish castle. But yeah, not much to see really. Super old church, yeah. Looks way older than the churches that we see on many of the islands. Ah, oh, nice views. Yeah, beautiful ocean. <laughs> yeah, super beautiful. Wow, what a beautiful church as well, little chapel. So definitely glad we decided to walk around the old town of uh, Parikia since it wasn't in our plans but yeah just really nice like we said it's like a local area. I can see the castle better from here Carol. Looks a bit more impressive now. <laughs> the Frankish castle. Looks like they use those columns. It's big columns that you see to build it. just rented a small little car now here in Parikia and it's gonna cost 40 euros per day and that's just because we're getting it for one day that's for an automatic car you get it for more days it can be cheaper 
And we're not actually staying here in Parikia, we're staying on the other side of the island, which we'll show later on. We only rented the car here because it's going to be easy for us when we have to bring our bags and stuff back to the port instead of having to get on a bus. So we thought we thought it'd be easy just to rent the car here and bring it back here right at the side of the port. And now we're going to head to the beach. It's beautiful weather for the beach. So I looked online for some good beaches and yeah, I think there's two that we might visit today. So yeah, hopefully they're good. So after about a 16 minute drive, we've come to the beach area. So we didn't actually plan on coming to this beach here. We were going to head to a beach that's just down this bay here called Colimpteros, something like that. But then we saw that there's an area here that's uh, pretty deserted and the water looks incredible. Not many people. The beaches down that way all had like uh, umbrellas. They were kind of like beach clubs and busy. So this seemed like a better deserted area. I tell that guy out there, the electric surfboard thing. Wow, this area is amazing though, right? The water. It's beautiful. And the, the rocks are very different here. Like you said, e each island that we go, it's a bit similar, but also very different from each other. Yeah, yeah, like these landscapes here. We're driving past all this here. Yeah. Completely different kind of rocks than the other islands that we went to. So this beach is nice and sandy too not one of those rocky beaches. Wow, I think this is probably the nicest turquoise water that we've seen so far. We went to some on Milos, but I think this is better. <laughs> so like on here in Milos, there's literally just millions of beaches, right? Yeah. Just non-stop beaches. Many beaches, building Santorini since it was like a like a big big mountain like a volcano a volcano it, uh, there were like uh, just a few beaches but here it's like everywhere yeah if you go around the coast it's non-stop options yeah it was hard to choose which ones to go but yeah it's good to have a lot of options yep <laughs> So this is an example of how we book our accommodations yeah. last minute. And that's why I'm always on the phone. Yeah. People are always commenting about that and I'm usually just uh, checking because like uh, checking the accommodations because we usually book like one day before. Yeah, because we're going to Naxos tomorrow and we don't have a place to stay yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good thing about the internet though, just makes traveling so much easier. There's so many times we just book things last minute, sometimes even on the same day. And yeah, it always works out. Loads of options to choose from. So this is the one that we were originally supposed to come to. It's pretty much the same really. Ours looks nicer to be honest. But here you get the cool rocks everywhere. You get the rock views. Yeah, it's beautiful too. Yeah. You wanna walk to the other rock? Let's check out the, the next beach. Ah, oh, we needed to mention as well that now the water is warmer. Yeah, yeah I think it's because it's getting hotter. <laughs> yeah, so now you can stay in for a while. 
Yeah, so this is the spot to come if you want an umbrella and some sun beds. Uh, it is nicer though with these rocks. Looks cooler. Yeah, beautiful. But there's more people here. Yeah. We've now arrived at a village in the mountains called Lefkis, about a 20 minute ride from the coast where we were at. So very different scenery, obviously we came from somewhere down there, I think that's a bit of the village back there. So we're looking for a place to eat first and then we'll walk around a bit. All the restaurants around here are closed so there better be places open. <laughs> the size of the door. <laughs> not, not for me. Not your size, yeah even the doors up there. That one is all. Lovely. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Everything is a photograph. Ah, uh, the decision once again, down mm. or up. I don't know. The kind of decision you have to make all the time in Greece. <laughs> this yeah. way? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this place is really nice because since we're in the mountains, you get the mix of the typical Greek island kind of buildings, the white buildings, but also loads of nature, way more nature. So way more uh, trees and plants. Ah, these restaurants seem to be open, cow. Yeah, that one is kind of full. Cool. Well, maybe because all the others are not open. Yeah, it's the only one that's open. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the kind of spot that we were looking for with these views. Got some amazing views here. Pretty much of the entire village or town, whatever it is. And this is called Agnadio Restaurant. So we got some different food for once. Carol's look super interesting. That's a Greek salad, right? Yeah, finally. Mm -hmm. Loads of herbs, like peppers, cucumber, tomato, onions. Mm -hmm. And what's and this? Cheese? Yeah, feta cheese. Feta cheese. And then what is this as well? Saganaki. It's a, a Greek starter, which is basically just a Greek cheese fried. Oh, okay. Yeah, my first time trying it. But since it's cheese, I know I love it already. <laughs> cheese lover. <laughs> Very good. And I got the monster sausage. Look at the size of that. That is the biggest sausage I've ever eaten. And that's with fries. So that was 10 euros, 6.50 and 9.50. Yeah, so amazing prices, especially since you got a spot like this with this view. No escaping the cats in Greece. <laughs> so we're just gonna go for a quick stroll through the village before we head out here. Got this nice little park area here. So this path is called the Byzantine route. So we'll go this way. Check this out guys, even in the store. <laughs> Completely. So having the cat there worked because <laughs> it made Carol end up buying this. Yeah, three euros. Yeah, it's only three euros. They have a bunch of them here, necklaces. Got some rings here as well. Two for one, five euros. Not bad. Great salesman. <laughs> Fantastic job.
Yeah, so for the towns and villages, this place is definitely beating Milos. The villages here seem way more beautiful. They're still nice over there. I mean, all the little villages in Greece are nice, but yeah, this one just seems a bit more special. Look how white the, the wall is. Yeah, super white. I mean, they must paint it like every twice <laughs> every day. Maybe twice a year, once yeah. a year. There's yeah, a lot of buildings like that around these islands, like super fresh paint. So this is what you'll find at the end of that Byzantine path there, which is a church that I read is a Byzantine church from 1825. I mean, the Byzantine Empire ended way before that, so I don't know if it means style or something. But pretty impressive, different to the other churches around here. It's not open though, you can't go inside. This is a church that you can see from, from pretty much all their views, right? Yeah, because it's a very big one compared to the other little ones that we keep seeing every five minutes. Yeah, it stands out. So we're now back in the area that we're staying in. We're just gonna check out one more beach that we haven't seen yet. And we're staying in this place here. Pretty nice building. Raguzzi's house, studios and apartments. And right in front of our apartment, we have this beach here. So this is Logada's beach. We're not gonna go to this one now because we've already been on this beach before. So we get some pretty good views on this walkway. So back there is the main center of this area, it's Piso Livadi. There's loads of places to eat, loads of restaurants and stuff, so quite a nice area at night. Alright, so that didn't take too long. So this beach right here is called Punda Beach. Not really like a extra special beach, not for Greece level anyway. It kind of just looks the same as the beach at our place, Logadis. Just has more, uh, I think there's a beach club, isn't there? Yeah, beach club with pool, I think. Oh, it has a swimming pool? Swimming pool, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. And ours is just like a deserted beach, no clubs or anything. So we found a nice spot in the corner. It's going to be the sunset time soon, but we're on the wrong side of the island. The sun's going down over on that side here. Probably looks nicer when the sun's more out though. You can see the water's nice though. So. Yeah, maybe the water does look like the other places that we saw today. Hard to tell. And back there in the distance is the island of Naxos, which is bigger than Paros. So tomorrow we're going to be heading to that island back there. I don't know how long it takes to get there. Looks like it must only be uh, 30 minutes or something. Doesn't look very far. So I'll now show you the place that we're staying here. So this was 56 euros. So a really good price because we're so close to the beaches. Got a really nice big bedroom here. And through here we have the kitchen area. Also an area where you can eat. And there's also another bed here. So it's like a three person apartment. And then just the bathroom here. And that's about it really. But we also get this balcony here. And yeah, that's the sea view over there. And this is also our area here. We haven't even used it, we probably should have. <laughs> so really good price. We even saw apartments around here for like 35 euros. Obviously not with this kind of view, but you can get places that cheap here. In, in general, Greece is usually considered one of the cheaper places 
in uh, Europe so yeah it'll be hard to get a place like this in some of the other countries like Italy and stuff you won't really find these prices I think if you look at the prices of the places that we've been staying in like a month's time or in July it's double or even more so yeah we've been lucky with the prices coming at this time and the weather's awesome so yeah just coming in May and early June has been the best decision ever so far because also it's not so crowded so yeah it's just been perfect and as I mentioned in this video the next ones will be from Naxos so we should be able to show a few areas of Naxos so if you like this one just drop a like to support us as usual subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one